Hello everybody and welcome to new MA tips. This time I want to show you how to record and playback an easy timecode show. What you can see over here is the timecode view and a timecode pool. Within that timecode pool we just store a new timecode object and select it. You can see now in the timecode view, we get an overview of our timeline and we will have an overview of our events after recording our timecode show. The recording of the timecode show is very easy. We just change to the setup mode in the timecode view and we have the record button over here. So we start to record our timecode show now. And now I use my playbacks to just record my timecode show. So I start to run my sequence, for example. I use a different sequence for my stair bumps. You can see this. Use the next cue and the next until my sequence is done. I go to off the sequence and then stop the recording of my timecode show. Let's have a short look at the timecode view, what we can see here. I can see my track group number one and we use the two sequences, which is the main sequence and the stair bumps. And within the main sequence, you remember, I used some button presses and also fader movements. So we have different subtracks which show us the button presses as events and my fader movements with the exact value. So now I just have to go back to the beginning of my timeline and then we press play in the internal timecode generator and my timecode show is played back. You can see in the timecode object and you can see that my sequence is running automatically in 3D with all the events I just recorded. So that's an easy way how to create the first timecode show. In the next MA Tips video, we will have a look at more nice features within that timecode in GrandMA3. So stay tuned and see you next time for the MA Tips.